Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Group. In this tutorial, we're just going to look at how to assign sounds to the various EQ ASCOM functions. Now, I must admit, when this uh, idea was first put to me, I thought it was a bit of a gimmick. Uh, having your mount talk to you seemed, seemed like craziness. Um, but having used it, uh, I've really found that it is, is something that is of great use you know it, it having some audio confirmation that what you've asked to happen is happening uh, especially when you're in the dark fumbling about pressing buttons uh, it is a great benefit okay the way we set it up is simply to click on this speaker button and this brings up a whole new form now by default EQ Ascom uses uh, a PC speaker beep. Now, I believe there are, well, there may be problems with some versions of Windows, probably Vista, maybe Windows 7, uh, where the speaker beep doesn't actually work. Um, so, to get around that, we added the ability to play WAV files instead. And once we did that, 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 that opened up uh, the ability to add a whole load of different sounds for all the different actions. And that's what we've got nowadays. So, to assign a sound, what you have to realize is that the sound has to be enabled, and that's done via these checkboxes. Uh, and we have to tell EQASCOM where to find the sound on your hard disk. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, I'll show you how things are set up at the moment. So if I enable the reset uh, rate presets sounds, currently that defaults to a, uh, a WAV click. That That is installed with the ASCOM by default. So pressing the button, because uh, I've got to apply the changes. Makes that beep. I've called it a click, but it's a beep. To change the sound, we simply click the open file button and navigate to our sounds folder where we're storing our WAV files. Now, I've put together uh, a whole series of synthesized phrases within a zip file that you can get from the uh, either the SourceForge site or the Yahoo group um, and you can install these anywhere on the, on the disk you like they don't have to go in any specific place because we're, we're browsing to them now um, so in this case we want rate 1 rate 2 rate 3 Rate 4. I don't need any more because I've only got four rates defined. I know that. Um, if I just move this off to the side for the moment, apply the changes. Now I'm using my gamepad uh, to test it out, and that's why there's an apply changes button there. If I press the OK, these changes will be actioned, but this form will, will, will close down. If I uh, hit the apply changes button, the changes are applied. But this form stays open so I can continue to, to test things out. So if I now change my rate, we should see the rate change over here. And we should hear the sound associated with it. Yep, I'm happy with that. I can then move on to the next, next sounds or close it down. Uh, one thing you will notice is that for the rate changes you don't get sounds if you change from here it's only applying to the gamepad changes or if you're using a, uh, a numpad to, to the numpad changes the reason is I kind of thought that if you're changing it from the drop down you're getting enough visual co confirmation of what's happening without needing to hear a sound Okay, and that's that's basically it. You just go through, and for all the things you want to hear, you assign your sounds to them. 
if you want to record your own WAV files, feel free. Uh, if you want to share them, feel free. Um, and yeah, that's it. <laughs>